Florida Governor Ron DeSantis on Tuesday said he would turn down the opportunity to run for vice president under former President Trump if given the chance. I don't think so. I'm not a number two guy, DeSantis said on the Wisconsin Right Now radio show. NBC News reported the Florida governor is trailing Trump in the 2024 GOP primary race by nearly 30 points nationally, according to a 538 poll. DeSantis said he would opt to stay in his governorship over joining Trump's cabinet, adding that the vice presidency doesn't really have any authority. When asked whom he would consider signing on as a running mate, the Sunshine State governor said it's a little bit presumptuous to be doing that at this stage, adding that he's focused on winning the early primaries before delving deep into his search for vice president. The DeSantis campaign struggle to gain traction has set off alarms among Republicans who expect a better performance from the candidate with a spokesman of the pro-DeSantis pack never back down, referring to Trump as the runaway frontrunner earlier this month. DeSantis' lagging campaign has also spurred other GOP leaders to reconsider running for the nomination. In addition to leading DeSantis at a national level, the former president is also outperforming the Florida governor in polls of Sunshine State voters. The feud between DeSantis and Trump has reached a boiling point in recent weeks, with Trump bashing the DeSantis campaign as being in total disarray following the governor's rally in New Hampshire earlier this month. Former Vice President Mike Pence went through his own falling out with his former boss following the January 6, 2021 attack on the Capitol and has decried the former Vice President is unfit for the presidency, launching a rivaling campaign against his own executive partner. This is one time where I think uh, DeSantis might be on the money as far as we know that the Vice Presidency really isn't a position with any assigned role. It's basically just wait around for years in the event that something happens to the president. Of course, there have been... Um, influential VPs like Mondale and Cheney, but generally speaking, it's not a position that really lends itself to someone that's trying to get something accomplished or done, and it's just there for uh, the sake of consistency or, uh, I guess, transitioning of power. But in DeSantis's case, it's kind of funny to think about how you got to imagine for someone as young as him who's running for president and who could run again if he's not able to best Trump this time, um, you would think he'd want to be part of what could be considered the winning team in the event that, let's say, Trump wins these states but then picks him because he's from a big state that he can count on or that he wants to make sure is under um, lock and siege. Um, but if you're DeSantis, you, you've seen how Pence was treated and how Pence is treated by the voters and people that like Trump. Um, and you're saying, well, you know, it doesn't really make any sense for me to align with Trump out of this belief that this will eventually pay off because look at what happened with the person that he did this with uh, back in 2016. So I think it would be in the best interest of his career to probably, in the event that he doesn't win the nomination, which I said before, I don't think he will at this point, um, just go and serve out the rest of his term as governor probably run for senator at some point that well i don't know if scott or ruby are going to get out of the way i, I don't I, I think scott would be more likely but you know he'll what what i think will be his best trajectory is if he loses the primary he decides to serve out the rest of his term as governor and then you know he gets some little goofy job on fox where he goes and gives his commentary on the news to keep his name out there sort of uh, and then runs again as a private citizen in 2028. That's that's really the only theory I can draw up for what would be a good idea for his for his career. Because I, I don't think him being VP would turn out to be fruitful for him. I think Trump will remember his slights when they ran against each other and will find ways to basically make the job just miserable slash inconsequential as all hell. Um, which is kind of ironic because you can kind of see the writing on the wall when you look at the 2016 primary, how early on people were saying that Cruz could be Trump's running mate. Uh, and of course, who he ultimately did pick was someone that, did, that didn't even run for president at all. So it almost feels like Pence's campaign is just like a, 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 a like a, a, a half-baked attempt at revenge against Trump for the slight. But yeah, DeSantis is someone who I think, if he plays his cards right, can get a bright future in politics. Um, but I just think he's his campaign was overhyped before it started, and it is crashing and crumbling day after day. I've seen more of a positive response for that Ramaswamy guy than for for the current governor of one of the largest states in America when it comes to running for the Republican nomination. That, that's how backwards this stuff has gotten.